if you want sponsorships, you should make a media kit. When you outreach to companies, this is very helpful to send to companies so they can get to know you as a content creator and what you create. Oh, what's a media kit? Correct. Uh, exactly what Esme said. A media kit is basically like a resume, but for sponsorships. And for reference, here is my media kit. Ta-da! But generally, try to keep it to one sheet if possible. It makes life easier for everyone. It's nice to have a photo of yourself, your name, a little blurb about yourself. It's basically introducing yourself to a company, speed dating with a company, if you will. And I tried to be cheeky and add in my verified check and put that here put this here had all of my social media platforms with my followings on it but i want to highlight my main platform which is my tiktok it's my biggest platform so all my demographics that i showed were of my tiktok because that's generally what companies care about my biggest platform my monthly views monthly comments monthly profile views monthly shares and monthly likes to find these analytics in tiktok you go to your profile and then you go to the top right where there's the three bars you click the three bars on the bottom it will say creator and then something else click creator and then it will say analytics and click analytics and then it should be somewhere you just I, there might be another click you have to do but it should be that should take you there all right but we're just going to want to create a custom size project and then we're going to want to make it click print and then we just want print a letter so it's just like a letter size which is 8.5 by 11 inches we're going to hit next and it should take us to this blank page here. Does Adobe, Adobe Express is free. There is a paid like upgrade to it, which I actually have, but I won't be using any paid elements in this one. So for our background, you can start with like a blank white background, but that kind of basic. So, you know, I want to make it more colorful. One thing that you can do as well, you can go and generate yourself a color palette that looks pretty. So I like to go explore trending color palettes i will just scroll down here wow all these beautiful color palettes that we can use i really recommend you pick something that looks a little bit professional so maybe a color palette like this which is super bright and very saturated i would say is not the most professional looking of all color palettes out there um i also for media kits would not exceed three colors uh even though these meet these color palettes are generally a five or more i really wouldn't exceed three it's just a lot would it be better to keep the channel consistency yes reggie if you already have a color palette established with your twitch's branding i would stick with that color palette however let's say you don't have a color palette established for your twitch branding yet uh, if you and you just want to make a media kit that looks really pretty you can kind of uh yoink some of these and work with it so maybe i'm gonna probably pick this one i know it's a very basic color palettes but you know this will work so i'm just gonna click this to copy the hex code and if i click the background choose solid color oh my face is over it but here i can go and paste the hex code in. now i'll change your background color so we can pick a shape so i'm gonna pick a shape for the photo i'm gonna just gonna put my photo on the top left here let's keep it kind of simple i personally like rounded rectangles a lot you can also work with circles i would try to avoid using very very outlandish um shapes and stuff because you want this to look kind of professional then we want to add a photo of ourselves. this i kind of forgot how to do but if you just hit upload photo you should be able to upload a photo of yourself also for the photo of yourself try to pick one with like a clear photo of your face and preferably if you're smiling so i'm gonna pick this photo of myself and then if i did this right i should be able to clip this onto the background unless i'm trolling hold on might be trolling here if i hit crop and shape then you can crop your photo into any shape that you want i would again try to stick with like a you know let's let's keep it let's keep it a rectangle so i'm gonna crop this a little bit closer to me and then okay i'm just gonna get rid of this background rectangle okay so now i have myself here and then i really like the concepts of adding little speech bubbles so i'm gonna probably incorporate this into the design i think this would be kind of cute all right and then if you want to flip it you just clip flip horizontally now we can flip it this way so i like the way this is kind of looking right now oh if you're a faceless streamer use your logo yeah don't put your face in it okay so I like this. I like the incorporation of the speech bubbles. I'm trying to make it a little bit more interesting. So maybe I'll like, oh God, I, I'm not going to use the orange though. All right, but yeah, I'm just pulling colors off the color palette. So see, now I'm sticking with this. Uh, I might actually change the colors around a little bit more to make the background the darkest color, but we will see for now. I like this font a lot. 
I just like putting my name in big and bold and right up at, oh, yo, 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 right up at the top. So this text right here, again, I have my username up at the top. You want to draw the viewer's attention to your name and to important elements. So that's why I use one of the darker colors here so that, you know, it draws your attention to the name. I put this in the back like this. I like the way that looks. Add some sort of like a visual intrigue here. Oh, wait, this is so lit. Okay, Poggies. One thing, one thing Adobe Express has is if you add text, right? And then if you click shape, if you turn, if you turn shape on, we can click this button here and they actually already have the icons pre-added. So then if I like double click to edit, it should be, um, so now you can go and add the shape of like a, a social handle or something like that next to it. Download is, can I download this in white? <gasps> recolor. Okay. Wait, this is so sick. Thank you for introducing me to this website. So I can just recolor this as white and then download it as white. What's the darkest color in this color palette? This dark brown. I don't like working with pure black. It's just a very harsh color. So let's put this in here instead. We'll use this brown color. And then I will make this text, this also brown color, so it looks a little bit softer. Let me hit download. Oh! Oh, wait, no, I've used this site before. I've used this site before. Now we can download it. Uh, maybe 192 by 192. You don't need it to be huge. Let's hit download here. And then I should be able to pull that up. So let me grab one of these brown colors here. I'll pick the darker of the two. Let's go under shapes and let me go find a circle and we're going to make this in the other color that I picked off the color palette, this gray color. Click drag. Oh, nice. Okay, we got it. I can make this a little bit smaller. All right. And now we have a little Twitch icon here. Um, okay. So one concept in graphic design as well is you want some breathing room within your assets. So what I mean by this is you see the circle and the Twitch icon. There's very little room between the circle and the Twitch icon. Like the, the corners of the Twitch icon are kind of like touching the border of the circle almost, which we don't want. We want some more breathing room. So here we'd want to make it a little bit smaller and try to center that. And that looks visually more comfortable. But yeah, I can click and drag. And then if I hit group, it groups these two icons together. So now I move it together like so. Before I do that though, I want to duplicate the circle. But yeah, I just want to duplicate the circle so that I have the circles in the same size. Okay, let's group these little Twitch ones together. And then you want to make one of these little icons for every single social media platform that you have. I have five, so I you put five on mine. But if you have less than five, you can put less. I might need to make these a little smaller, I realized. Because sometimes like companies want different platforms. Like even though I'm way bigger on TikTok than I am on any other platform, I've had companies hit me up asking for like uh instagram sponsorships even though i'm not nowhere near as big on instagram as tiktok they want an instagram real sponsorship for some reason so you don't want to close any doors if that makes any sense we have all of our little links here and now i'm just gonna go and put the follower count below it we're gonna only stick with two fonts so i'm gonna reuse the font that i use for my title here and i'm gonna change the color to go and match that color that i was using and i am currently at this many followers on tiktok nope not not in the millions i wish now we have a little bar of our following counts over here how often would you recommend updating the media kits um i would say anything so anytime it hits something substantial so whatever is relative right so if you're a small streamer maybe every hundred of followers whereas like if you're a bigger follower maybe every thousand the bigger creator every thousand for my tiktok i update every ten thousand and then let me use this so let's let's copy these little blob elements here and then let's see here the analytics demographics so we can just put some hypothetical numbers here but for the analytics i like making a big bold number like i think mine was 3.3 million video views so if the number is big and bold it kind of catches your eye Honestly, this looks pretty close. I can just uh, take this asset. Or maybe I can make the demographic like this. Sorry, I'm just going off of this. I have like a demographic of like 69.5% female, I think. I right, what percentage of my demographic is male? 30.5. And then I'm just going to repurpose this uh, asset right here. And then I'm going to flip it to add some juxtaposition. I'm going to make it a little bit different. I want to make like a contact me section. 
All right, and then let's add some textures. Let's see under the effect groups. Maybe like a paper. I think this might be kind of cute. I'm basically just looking for something to fill the dead space here. Because there's a little bit of dead space here. Adding a little bit of texture can't couldn't hurt anybody. And let me just drag this all the way to the back so it doesn't block anything. And then let me lower this a little bit. Here's our Adobe Express Media Kits. I made this with free assets completely. So if you would like to make this, feel free to follow along with my tutorial. This would also be cut up and put to YouTube as well. Let me go save this. Um, I can save it as a template. Then you guys can work, like, take the template and make your own stuff with it. So, cats Media Kits template. Let me go save it to, let me go make a new library. And let me save template. It's creating it as a template and then I can give you guys the link and you guys can pull off of this to go and make it your own. Um, use your own photos and numbers, obviously. But, you know, here's my little media kit template. I just wanted to make a version that used a free software so that people could make it yourself without having to pay. Because the one that I made for myself was using Photoshop, which is a paid software.